Nostalgia is a really weird thing. We relive our old times in our minds and feel both good and bad about it at the same time. Do you ever feel like you don't know whether nostalgia is a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, think about it. You get sad about the fact that the quote unquote good times are over, but you also get happy that you get to remember and almost re experience those good memories. That's why nostalgia is seen as such a split thing. Overall, I think people see nostalgia as a positive thing, and most people don't really see the negatives of nostalgia besides the fact that it's kinda sad in nature. I'm not saying I dislike nostalgia, it's just that it has its downsides as well, and it's not always such a nice and innocent thing. Most people don't even know what causes nostalgia, not even myself. So in the spirit of learning, I looked it up. Nostalgia is often triggered by sensory stimuli, but it can be elicited by conversations and even by self-directed memory recollection. Okay, that was a lot of nothing to my pea-sized brain. I found another website called Science Friday that put it way better. Nostalgia seems to be the way people cope with various negative mental states or psychological threats. If you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling like a failure, if you feel like you don't know if your life has any purpose or if what you're doing has any value, then you can reach into this reservoir of nostalgic memories and comfort yourself. I guess this is why people see nostalgia as a positive thing. When people are feeling stressed or sad, they use old memories to try and cheer themselves up a bit. I had my friend Elias on to talk for a few minutes about the topic, and he has some interesting points, so here he is. What is your general view of nostalgia, or like the pros and cons of it? Nostalgia is an interesting thing. I've kind of experienced it in a bad way, in a video game and in real life. Video game wise, I would I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out like a Batman. I, I'm sorry to all the like a Batman fans out there. You know, I I really liked that game as a child, and. uh um, and this is me playing it on the DS, right? And, you know, many years later, I come back to it, and I played it, like, last year or something, and it felt so slow. And I think the problem is, uh, you get all these gaming experiences many years later, and then you get better bi gaming experiences, which makes your nostalgic things kind of feel so-so. And then my yeah. physical experience, I'm gonna pull out Legoland, because, like, Legoland is, like, every kid's dream to go to. You know, that that was awesome as a child. And then going to Legoland as a teen, it felt so-so. And I know Legoland was, you know, designed for kids. But what I'm saying is, like, my nostalgic experience with it kind of disguised uh, the reality of what it is in the future. Yeah, like, it kind of tricked your brain into thinking it was going to be better than it was just because you enjoyed it when you were a kid. Yes. And then there's also this positive nostalgic experiences, and this is where I'm gonna pull out like ageless things. You know when somebody's like, this game didn't age uh, really well, didn't, or this game aged well or something? Yeah. Now I can actually kind of understand that more if we're talking about nostalgia, because like, if, if you're nostalgic with a game, like, I'm gonna pull out Kirby Superstar Ultra or Ape Escape 3, and then those are nostalgic because I played it as a child. When I grow up, and then go back to the games, even with all my new gaming experiences. If I said it, those games were didn't are aged pretty well, I'm saying that the they lasted, like their graphical gameplay, etc., actually aged really well for the future, and that my nostalgia is not really disguising the fact that it aged well. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you for coming on. Donata, wait, Donata, <laughs> Spaniel. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody, I'm gonna link Lys's Twitter in the description, so check that out. He does a lot of gaming stuff there. Thank you for having me on. Of course. Again, Elias' Twitter is in the description. I thought he had some really interesting points. Firstly, when he talks about him not liking the old Lego Batman game anymore that he used to love. This is similar to a story that I have. When I was little, I really liked playing this game Crash of the Titans on the PlayStation 2 and I really loved it. The disc for the game stopped working so I couldn't play the game for a really long time, and so years later I somehow got the disc to read, I think it used the toothpaste method or something, and I finally got to play the game again. And This is horrible! This is a golden example of nostalgia distorting memories and judgment. Nostalgia got me to believe that the game was better than it really was, and it set me up for disappointment. Which is also what happened to Elias with Lego Batman and Legoland. Also, by the time we revisited these things when we were older, we had played many better games, so by the time we played these ones, it wasn't fun anymore. 
but nostalgia left us believing it was still fun. If nostalgia distorts your judgement too much, it can make you feel depressed and make you feel like your life sucks when you have to keep moving forward and not just focus on nostalgia. Many people get distortion of judgement when they get sad that they can't actually relive old memories. When this happens, it can really distort your judgement in a way. I feel like people mistake the old good times as better times in general when that simply isn't true. Do you ever hear people saying, back in the good old days, or times were easier back then? Or maybe you just say it to yourself. Well, this isn't really true at all. Even when you were a kid, things weren't easier at all. Well, well, maybe they were, but you don't really realize it at the time, because when you're a little kid, you also have your stresses and struggles that you have to deal with, just like you do now. As I said before, nostalgia can really get you distracted and unmotivated. I think Eddie Vedder, the lead singer for Pearl Jam, made this point very well, saying, I feel like we have to keep our eyes on the road. Being nostalgic is like taking an off-ramp and getting a sandwich, and you have to get back on the highway. I don't want to be spending the rest of my life at the gas station. So while nostalgia can be good, it's best to not focus on it too much. It can prevent you from doing the things that you love in your life if you think too much about it. Also, if you focus too much on nostalgia, it can become weaker. Music is a great example of this. Whenever I find a new song that gives me nostalgia, I absolutely love it. I listen to it over and over again, and then it gets boring. It just becomes any other song to me, and it loses pretty much all of its nostalgic value. Not to say that I don't like the song anymore, it's just not nostalgic anymore. Here's a list of songs that are no longer nostalgic to me, but once were. Dire Dire Docks, Super Mario World Castle Theme, Red Hot Chili Peppers Other Side, Animal Crossing New Leaf 1AM, Super Mario Odyssey Toaster Rain at Night, Maple Tree Away Mario Kart Wii, Run Around by the Booze Traveler, Bo Burnham F, California- Okay, that's enough. That's not even close to the amount of songs that are no longer nostalgic to me. I could probably make a 10 minute video just reading all the nostalgic songs I over listened to. That's one of the worst things about nostalgia to me. Similar to the best things in life, it doesn't last forever. So I guess make the most of nostalgia while you still have it. Dang, this kind of got depressing. I'm gonna say something a little more uplifting before I get out of here. Well think about this, we're always making nostalgic memories. Someday you will look back at your current life and see it as the good times, so just make the most of what you have right now and don't try to get depressed about what you used to have and what you don't have anymore. Instead, be happy about what you have now. It's like the quote from The Office. I wish there was a way to know you were in the good days before you actually left them. Just remember that you're always in the good old days. So, I'm not really sure if nostalgia is truly a good or bad thing. I think it can be very bad if you let it get the best of you, but like most things, it has its good sides and its bad sides. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Sorry if this video is a little, like, lame. I just wanted to explore this topic a little more for if I make other videos about this in the future. Alright, I'll see you guys next week in the next video.